In the foreseeable future, electric propulsion will inevitably dominate in any conceivable means of transportation, and airplanes are not an exception. Decreasing battery prices, increasing battery density, and steady realization by the aviation industry that EV aircraft are here to stay result in the development of new compelling models. In today's episode of Automotive Territory, we will venture onto the airstrips once again, where electric aircraft are getting ready to noiselessly blast off into the skies. Subscribe to our channel if you want to support the Green Revolution. Ring the notification bell and enjoy your flight! Alice Aviation When talking about ambitious electric aircraft projects, the Israeli startup Aviation is aiming higher than anyone else. Presented for the first time at the 2017 Le Bourget Aviation Show, the prototype is expected to attempt certification by the year 2022. The Alice is a luxurious small business jet with all composite structure, which is designed to cruise nine passengers at 240 knots. The laws of physics cannot be bent, so to ensure the promised flight distance of 540 nautical miles, it has to carry a massive 920 kWh battery that luckily recharges in just 70 minutes. The aircraft puts to use three electric motors with a combined 349 horsepower. This trio provides distributed propulsion of variable pitch propellers. The main one is located at the tail and two supplementary ones at the wingtips. With the direct operating costs of $200 per hour and 4 million sticker price, the Alice will make any other jet redundant. Lilium Jet 5-seater The first time we heard about the German startup Lilium was back in 2017, when the company presented their vision of a personal mobility all-electric aircraft. Since then, the jet stopped being a computer rendering and completed its maiden flight. Moreover, it even received a thumbs-up from Elon Musk. Now, Lilium says that they're working on a production-ready 5-seater model that will start deliveries in 2025. As before, the VTOL has a capsule-like body, can fly at 1300 feet, and is brought into motion by a battery of undisclosed capacity and 36 electric motors that peak at 2000 horsepower. Due to the fixed wing in flight position, the jet should be able to cruise at 163 knots using just 20% of its max output. Finally, its maximum range is expected to reach 163 nautical miles which is more than enough for functions as an air taxi for urban and regional travel. Pipistrel Valis Electro Following the demand for an electric trainer with low operation costs, the Slovenian Pipistrel has been selling light sport Alpha Electro since 2015. In June 2020, the company reached yet another milestone. They delivered the world's first ever type certified electric powered airplane, fully approved for pilot training and day VFR operations. The game changing Velis Electro is powered by the proprietary 77 horsepower Pipistrel E811 motor with liquid cooling that propels a fixed pitch composite three blader. The two seater has 378 pounds of payload capacity and cruising speed of 90 knots. The duo of 24.8 kWh batteries ensures 50 minutes of flight endurance, and being compatible with AE7D fast charger, the system replenishes its capacity in 1 hour and 20 minutes. The Velis cockpit is equipped with a 5.7-inch LCD display and analog gauges for the simplicity of operation. Equator P2 Excursion Though still a prototype, this aircraft from the Norwegian startup Equator completed its first flight in 2018 and has been testing ever since. It is an all-composite model with a float-wing design and a fuselage merged with a boat hull. The P2 excursion seats a pilot and a passenger. It can take off from water or asphalt and can carry 528 pounds of payload. The plane is powered by 132 horsepower electric motor, which is fed by a 12 kWh battery located in the cabin and a smaller one 6 kWh pack in the nose. The setup is expected to offer 108 nautical miles of range, but for now, the aircraft can stay in the air for just 35 minutes. To increase the flight distance to 540 nautical miles, 
Equator are working on a new range extender, which is based on the ADHP Wankel rotary motor that will run on diesel or bio-based kerosene fuels. Cora by Whisk Expected to operate as a flying taxi in large cities, the all-electric Cora combines self-flying and VTOL capabilities. The model was initially developed by the California startup Katy Hawk, but now it is a part of the brand's joint venture with Boeing. The two-passenger is lifted by 12 independent rotors that are flanking the cabin on both sides, while the forward flight is ensured by a separate rear-mounted propeller. It can develop the top speed of 89 knots and fly at altitudes between 500 and 3000 feet. The Cora has already carried out 1000 test flights. For now it can cover just 22 miles on each charge, but it is likely to improve its endurance since the company is already launching passenger trials in cooperation with the government of New Zealand. Help us promote the electric revolution by smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm and leaving a comment below the video. Thank you and let's get back to it! Magnex E-Caravan Creating an original aircraft, especially an electric one, is a lengthy and complex process. So some manufacturers actually prefer to stick to tried and tested designs and would rather outfit planes from established brands with electric drivetrains. Among such builds is the E-Caravan, which is basically a Cessna 208B Grand Caravan, which is fitted with an electric propulsion system from Magnex. Co-developed with the Seattle-based Aerotech, the model is powered by a 750 HP electric motor and a huge lithium-ion battery weighing around 1 ton. It can carry 4 to 5 passengers for distances up to 87 nautical miles. But according to the companies, they are developing an even larger battery pack that will both increase the plane's carrying capacity to 9 people and improve its flight endurance. This battery electric Cessna completed its first flight in May 2020 and it is aiming to receive certification by the end of next year. Du4 VTOL The Switzerland-based Du4 Aerospace completed the first phase of flight testing dedicated to their VTOL technology. Their electric prototype aircraft, dubbed the Aero 2, is inspired by the experimental Tiltwing Canada Air CL84 which is a 50-year-old Canadian Forces Turbine Tiltwing monoplane program cancelled after the Vietnam War. The Du-4 Aero 2 features an airplane-type configuration with four tiltwings. The brand's proprietary VTOL technology allows the motors to operate at 20% of their maximum thrust and consume much less energy from the battery lithium polymer pouch cells. Finally, the Du-4 CEO does not rule out the availability of a hybrid powertrain for the future production model. E-Flyer The American manufacturer by Aerospace embarked on a mission to produce two and four seat trainers for general aviation in 2014. This plane has conventional low-wing design with side-by-side -side cockpit and single front propeller. The standard 40-foot hangar doors will easily accommodate its 37 feet wingspan and 46 inches cabin creates ample training work environment with transparent bubble canopy. The electric propulsion system was sourced from Siemens. The SP70D motor has the peak output of 120 horsepower and is combined with a 92 kWh battery. Together, the setup ensures 3.5 hours of endurance and cruising speed of 135 knots. The development of the E-Flyer is close to the finish line, and the company has already collected over 300 pre-orders. Blackfly Opener Aero is the VTOL startup supported by Google's Larry Page that developed the world's first ultralight fixed-wing all-electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Its fuselage is made of carbon fiber reinforced epoxy and has the shape that could be easily confused with a UFO. Unlike many VTOLs, the Blackfly is not using ducted fans, tilting rotors or tilt wing to ascent. Instead, the entire aircraft changes pitch. To comply with national regulations, the US and international versions of the flyer 
will have different configurations. The American modification will get an 8 kWh battery, 25 miles of range and 62 mph speed, while the rest of the world will enjoy higher specifications, namely 40 miles of flight range and 80 mph cruising velocity. Lastly, improved safety of the Black Fly is ensured by redundant motors and a ballistic parachute. High Flyer by Zero Avia The last frontier for the Zero Mission aircraft will be commercial-scale passenger planes capable of carrying more people than your typical large family. The Californian Zero Avia could be called the pioneer in this endeavor since their six-seater prototype has already taken to the skies in June 2020. Being based in the Piper M-Class, it showcased the viability of the proprietary hydrogen fuel cell system that juices two 170 horsepower electric motors. As per the company's CEO, the High Flyer boasts the same potential as battery electric analogs, but has much better energy to weight ratio and supposedly lower operating costs. Its range is 250 miles, but Zero Avia is already aiming for the 20 passengers carrying capacity and 500 miles range by the end of 2023 and 100 seat configurations by the end of the decade. Heavy Side by Kitty Hawk Claimed to be 100 times quieter than a regular helicopter, the Heavy Side is Kitty Hawk's most recent one seater VTEL project. It was revealed to the public in 2019, boasting of a sleek design, a simple carbon fiber cockpit, and a 20 feet wingspan. It also received a new propulsion system that consists of eight independent lift fans. Six of them are mounted in the rear, while two are located on the canard near its nose. The heavy side's projected range is 87 nautical miles, reaching speeds of 156 knots. Once ready, the aircraft will be able to transport its passengers from San Jose to San Francisco in a matter of 15 minutes, while using half of the energy required by a regular automobile. Sooner or later, our planes will become less noisy and much cleaner, be it through electric powertrains, hydrogen fuel cells or hybrid systems. Support the electric revolution to speed up this process by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel. Watch more electric episodes by clicking on the icons on the screen. And as always, may the torque be with you!